In this example, I wanted to show you how I use VoiceThread to present content for my students. There are many different ways that you can record lectures and present material. I liked this one because students could move slide by slide and listen to my recording for each slide. So they're able to go at their own pace. If they needed to replay something I said, they could do that while still looking at the same page. So it's just another alternative to um, presenting your lectures. So for this example, um, as you can see, I was talking about the project approach and young children. You'll see my icon is on um, each page in just a second. I'll scroll, th scroll through. The students could hit play and they would hear my, um, my response. So they could either hit play down here or they could click on my name and it would start playing. To scroll through the slides, on the right hand side, you click the triangle. You can, when you hover, it says, you know, move to the next slide. So yes. And they can, like I said, go through at their own pace. I created this presentation in um, PowerPoint. This was one I presented on, presented on at a conference and then turned it into um, something to show students in my class. Um, if I wanted to organize the slides, I can click on this icon and it says show all slides. And I could rearrange things. Um, I could delete them if I needed to, but it's just a nice way to see um, your presentation laid out. You could take this approach a step further, and if you you could have um, discussion prompts at the end of particular slides if you wanted students to weigh in, and then they could record their own response. Um, and to do that, they would just go to the speech bubble where it says make a comment, say yes, and then select how they wanted to leave a response. I did not do that for this um, particular lecture. I just wanted to present my material to them. The nice thing about presenting your content in voice thread like this is if I was um, talking about this particular slide and I didn't like something that I said or if I needed to re-record it, it's easier for me just to delete this comment instead of um, if it was a continuous video, I would have to figure out where I wanted to cut um, particular pieces of the audio. So that's just another nice feature. So now I'm ready to embed my presentation into Canvas so students can view it. To do that, um, if you watch my video on embedding um, VoiceThread like a discussion board, that's one way you can embed VoiceThread. I'm going to show you a different way in this video. So I'm going to click, let's see, let me go to my course page. Um, I have an example module. I'm going to create new content. I'm going to add a page. I like doing it this way better than the previous example. What you can see it in the background, it just says voice thread. This is where I used um, Canvas or I used voice thread as an external tool and it just labels it voice thread. I can't figure out a way to change that. Maybe there is, and I just don't know it. Um, I like to do a new page, and so I'll say so I can label it um, whatever I want to, and that just helps clarify things. So I gave it a title. Now I'm ready to edit the page. Going to edit. <clears throat> okay, from this point, I need to embed it. So I'm going to click the icon Insert Edit Media and then the Embed tab. I need to go back to VoiceThread and get my embed code for this particular presentation. So I click on the name and embed. Now it's giving me um, uh, the code. And I'm just going to copy embed code. It told me it copied it, which is great. Now paste. Okay. So students can click on it um, and then they can also make it bigger and take up the whole screen. Um, save and now it's posted. Okay, so that's just another thing that you can do with VoiceThread.